physicality of practice really picked up now? Oh uh, yeah, of course we wrapped it up to get ready for Oklahoma. You know, we got a few extra days to get ready, so we just doing a lot of good on good action. How great was was it to finally get some rest after that ten week stretch? Oh, uh, it was real good, and the guys got healthy. You know, we back out here, we all feel 100. percent Oh, we just getting there. So we can just come out here and compete at a high level against each other to get ready for the ball game. I know you don't want to make excuses, but were you guys maybe dragging a little bit, a little tired, maybe the last couple of final games? I mean, plus you also had the mental pressure of, of trying to stay undefeated and trying to stay in the playoff hunt as well. Oh uh, yeah, on a stretch like that, I mean, bodies wear down. You know, you just got to do a good job of taking care of yourself and just getting in the cold tub and just recovering. But uh, of course, again, playing that many weeks is going to take a toll on your body. But I wouldn't make excuse, that an excuse for us, but. You know, that's the aspect that really all it, it affects you throughout the season. Ben seemed frustrated some after the game about some of the big plays that were allowed against North Carolina in really the last few weeks. Is there some frustration on the defense that kind of allows some teams to go back in games the last few weeks this season? Uh, of course, we don't like to be we don't like to make mistakes. We don't like to be scored on. So we just use this time to correct mistakes and just get better. What have you seen from Oklahoma? What's standing out so far? Uh, of course, they got a lot of great players. So you know, we just focusing on on getting a good plan and just getting ready for the game. TG, you guys are an underdog once again. Is that a good thing and why? Oh, that really don't matter to us. You know, we're just going to go out there, play Clemson football, and just compete at a high level. What's so uh, challenging about um, Baker Mayfield? Uh, he's just, I mean, he's a quick guy. I mean, he can he can extend plays and just get his ball to the receiver. So we got to come up with a good plan to stop him in the run and just um, just get, get ready to play against a quarterback. that. And pretty much like the sound, we could just move around. Is there anybody you guys played this year you can say, okay, he's similar to, or is he just different than anybody that played? Uh, of course, I mean, there's a lot of mobile quarterbacks we played against, like Deshaun Kaiser and, and Williams from North Carolina, but he's a lot quicker and he can extend plays a lot better than those guys. Is there, is there anything to playing a team again in a bowl game that you blew out last year? They're going to come in with a chip on their shoulder. What are you guys expecting, you know, as far as their mentality? Uh, we expect them to come in and play us hard. You know, we get, we get everybody's best as being the number one team. So we expect them to come in here and play us like, like we're the number one team. So, I mean, we blew them out last year, but that really doesn't matter. It's a different team, you know, a different year. So we just got to go in there and be prepared to play. How do you think you and Jaron played the second half of the year? Uh, I can't speak for Jaron, but I think he's played pretty good. But myself, I think I played pretty good. You know, I just grew in this grew in this defense as the season progressed, and I think I just just grew as a player and grew mentally. You plan to put in paperwork to get a draft grade estimate? Uh, right now, I just focus on the ball game. You give thought to? I mean, of course, year. as a junior, you think about making that decision and your own possibility of playing on the next level. But as of right now, I'm really not thinking about it too much. I'm just worried about the ball game. Well, when that time comes, what will be the biggest factor for you? Uh, just reevaluate myself and just figuring out what's the best situation for myself. Can I just talk to you about what kind of grade, like what kind of draft projection you should have before considering leaving? All right, that's my decision. It's not up to the coaches. Ultimately, it's just up to me and what I feel comfortable with doing with the rest of my career. Kenzie gets a lot of the attention, but how good has Cordray been this year? For you? Well, Cordray's been great. I mean, he just, I mean, he goes, he goes unheard of because of McKenzie. I mean, he got to get a lot down the field. He gets all the height. But Cordray, I mean, he's just amazing. I mean, he's leading the team in picks. He just goes out there and sets down another side of the field like, like, um, like McKenzie does. So it's just having them two, it makes it a lot easier for us to, to read our keys and not have to worry about on the outside.